Good evening and welcome to the Whiskey Lover Society with me Gerter Tief and tonight we are tasting something special. Uh, it was Christmas and of course with Christmas come nice gifts and I can always rely on my son to buy me the perfect gift. And this year he really did not disappoint me and um, so he bought me samples and I um, was quite excited about it, five samples. Uh, something that I've never tasted before, so, uh, some of them I've never even seen before. So quite looking forward to making some reviews on these whiskies. And um, I picked them at random. Um, this is what the sample bottle looked like. Um, and this is one is going to be quite special. 27 year old Tully Barden single malt scotch whisky. Never heard of it never seen it well actually i did see some of them at the duty free shop uh, some time ago no idea what it was um well sometimes you're a little bit scared you're not going to buy something that you have never tried or seen before so this is 27 years old it's for me unbelievable that you can get a 27 year old whiskey um, and of course you can get a sample of them normally these high aged whiskies they don't give samples uh, well they don't sell samples normally so i was quite excited when i opened up this box and i saw a talib harden for 27 year old and um, of course 70 percent bourbon cask and 30% rum cost. Now, I've done some rum cost finished whiskies, a couple of them. Always a little bit difficult to find that little bit of a rum note in the whiskey. So hopefully tonight we are going to find that little bit of a rum note as well. This, of course, uh, being a independent bottled whiskey from Caden Heads, it is non-gel faulted, natural color, 46% ABV, Price, we will talk about price, we will talk about price a little bit later. And you, you might find a big surprise at the end of this video. Now, first of the bottle, um, I will put a picture as well, um, maybe over here, and you'll see also in the thumbnail. Um, it's definitely not the best label that I've ever seen. A really unattractive label. But of course, we don't drink the label we drink the whiskey so not going to be a long video on the nose 27 year old what does age smell like cheers wow it is a absolutely stunning whiskey for me you can smell the age on this one there is no youthful notes there's no ethanol coming out there's no nail polish removing coming out. 27 years in a cask. Ex-bourbon and of course the rum cask. I expect to find a little bit of an oakiness. And this one does not disappoint. The oak is definitely there. It's a little bit of a furniture polish. A freshly polished oak furniture. It feels that they have managed the cask well. It is a lovely sweetness, a little bit of a honey note coming through. Almost a little bit into the beeswax type of honey note. Now I'm still looking for the rum note. Not really getting that rummy sweetness that you can get in some of the rum casks. And I do like a good rum, especially from Guyana. Oh, they do make some fantastic rum. Jamaica also. But uh, Guyana, mm, for me, is the favorite rum. Every time that I go back, it feels like it's a little bit sweeter. Now, it's not a big one. Um, they don't give you, of course, any information on, on the bottle. On maybe the bottle was opened for some time already maybe there was some oxidization but I can tell you when I poured it in here it wasn't that sweet 
So every time that I go back, it gets a little bit sweeter on her nose. There's a little bit of a vegetal note, almost a little bit of a green note, like a, a freshly cut flower note coming out. I also get a, something like um, dead leaves, like a winter time, um, leaves falling off, that little musty note that comes off the dead leaves. Really pleasant. It's smooth, dare I say smooth. It is just fantastic on her nose. It's light, sweet, a little bit of a toffee note coming out at the end. Now, I would have thought there would be a little bit more complexity to it. If you consider 27 years, ex-bourbon, I do get that. I do get that vanilla note, a little butterscotchy note coming out of it, that sweetness, not getting that rum. I get the woodiness, a little bit of a dusty note coming through. But that is that. Um, I would have thought there could be a little bit more complexity to it, but it is super nice, super friendly, super soft, and not that ethanol nail polish that can come with a youthful whiskey. Really nice. Oh my word, I can't wait. My whole mouth is watering already. So on the taste, cheers. Mm. On the taste, it definitely tells you it's something that's old. It's something that has been spending quite a lot of time on an oak and um, you get that oakiness. It's a little bit of a dry mouth feel, and, um, and it leaves a taste of oak. That oak is definitely quite dominant on this one. Sweet oak, let me just try again. Cheers. Sweet oak, and a dusty note at the end. A little bit of a toffee note, that vanilla is there, 46% ABV, it's a nice burn going down, but it is, it's a mellow burn, it's not a, a in your face, kick your teeth in type of burn, it's just nice warm mouthfeel, and that woodiness just lingers, that sweet woody notes, your whole mouth feels like you've just chewed on a piece of wood, uh, oak, um, so, yeah, it's quite woody, but not a lot of bitter tannins. With uh, the second sip, there was a little bit more of a bitter note, but just a hint of that. Definitely very good cask management. And um, let me just try one more time. On the third sip, I can feel the oak bitter notes, the oak tannins, definitely picking up. It gets better every time. I'll just a hint more bitter notes every time I go back. It's quite a oaky one and I would expect that of course for 27 years sucking the life out of that cask. Becomes a little bit of a vanilla toffee bitter note. Now the first thing that I thought why stop at 27 years maybe Three more years, only three more years you're selling a 30 year old whiskey. Well, on the taste, I know they also tasted this whiskey at 27 and they said, whoa, stop, stop. <laughs> we need to stop this bus, get it out of the cask because I think if you waited an additional, well, three years, it's going to be a little bit too oaky. Well, maybe too oaky for me. I'm not a big fan of that big tannin notes. And I think at 27, maybe 25 would have been a good stop. But of course, they know much better than I do. And uh, on the nose, really good. On the taste, it's uh, that oakiness can be a little bit off-putting. If you are not used to it, if you don't like it, you're not going to enjoy it. If you like a little bit of a tannin coming through, ooh, this is going to be a dangerous one. It's 27 years old. I do not know what the sample costs, but I can only 
suspect it's quite expensive and apparently it's bad manners to go check online. Well, I did a little bad manners. You can get this 27-year-old Taliban single malt scotch whiskey for 115 euro up to 150 euro. So I think that is just a stunning price for a whiskey that is 27 years old. And of course, um, I have to add in, please remember to like, share and subscribe. It helps the channel to grow. Um, we're hoping to get 1,500 before the end of this year. So click, 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 click. And of course, all the ad revenue go to the kids in South Africa. Now, back to the whiskey. The sweetness, after you've had a couple of sips, that sweetness just elevates loads and loads of that vanilla notes. That uh, little bit of a... Less of the woody notes now. And it's just more sweeter, sugar sweetness coming out. My word, that is a really nice one. So my son, Barry, cheers mate. Thank you very much for buying your dad a perfect gift for Christmas. So with that, the price, are you willing to pay 115 Have you tried it? Well, have you seen this whiskey before? Is it something that you would recommend? I think at uh, that price, you cannot go wrong. And I definitely need to buy a bottle of this. Well, leave a comment. What do you think? So thank you very much for watching. As I said, please remember to like, share and subscribe. And I see you next year. Cheers.